Hello and thank you for joining us for this pre-reading video as part of the Certificate 4 in Training and Assessment here at MSA Training and Professional Development. Today we're going to be going over how we can save a Word document as a PDF or converting a Word document to PDF. It's a very simple process to do and we'll go over those steps as follows using my example here of our information booklet for the Certificate 4 in Training and Assessment upgrade package that we run here at MSA Training and Professional Development. So to convert this Word document into a PDF, we simply need to go up to File, click Save As, and browse for where we would like this Word document to be converted to a PDF document and stored at. For myself, I'm going to be saving this in the Assessment Cluster section, and I'm going to be changing the file name to PDF Copy. From here, we want to save the type as PDF. So I've got my information gap dash TAE40116 and I've changed this to PDF copy. The naming convention doesn't matter, it's just for yourself to be able to recognize the file name. It will not change it to a PDF itself by changing the file name. To do that, you need to change the save as type. Again, from Word document down to PDF, leave it for standard, publishing and online printing, and then open file after publishing to view a preview of that PDF document. So if I click save now, this will open this up as a PDF. As we can see, this is now a PDF, separate from the Word document I had before. As we can see here, there's the original Word document. Here is the PDF document that I've just saved. We can close that down and go back to the Word document. Now with this Word document, if I was to make changes, I'm just gonna write example as the change here. Go back up, follow the process again, save as, browse, And I change the name to PDF copy example. As I've made a change to this document, I'm saving it as a PDF. I'm keeping the options exactly the same as before and clicking save. This will again open this up as a PDF. There's the original Word document. Here is the PDF document with example text there. However, if I go to exit out of Word, it won't save any of the changes that I've made. So if you want to keep up to date with the changes that you've made, once you've saved it from a, PD, a Word document to a PDF, make sure you click save before you close the Word document down. Well, that's it for today's session. Thank you for joining me on this tutorial on how to save a Word document as a PDF, and we hope you have a great day.